Well, almost two years after the Boston Marathon bombing, the trial of Zhokar Zarnayev is finally underway. Opening statements began this morning, and ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is in Boston with the details. For the first time since two bombs blasted through the crowd near the finish line of the Boston Marathon nearly two years ago, survivors and victims' family members are seeing the suspect up close. Opening statements began this morning in Johar Zarnayev's trial. The 21-year-old pleading not guilty to 30 federal charges for the attacks that killed three people and injured more than 260 others. The defense was expected to argue that Zarnayev was coerced by his older brother Tamerlan, who was killed in a shootout with police days after the bombings. But the judge today said that argument could not be presented to the jury until after they reach a verdict and potentially move into the penalty phase. Among the first witnesses expected to take the stand, the father of eight-year-old Martin Richard, the youngest to die in the attacks. We're told Tamerlan Zarnayev's widow, Catherine Russell, will not testify. ABC News learning she is under investigation, suspected of helping her husband buy some of the bomb-making materials. The fact that she's not being called as a witness suggests, at least on one very important level, that she continues to be an object, a person of interest. The panel who will decide Zarnaya's fate is made up of 12 jurors and six alternates. Several of the 10 women and eight men who were chosen admitted they think Zarnaya is guilty, but agreed to be open-minded through every step of this emotional trial. The jury also had to agree to be open to the death penalty, which Zarnaya could face if convicted. In Boston, Marcy Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.